This is an Australian freshwater crayfish, and these are its secret weapons. Freshwater crayfish, which we call yabbies, like other crustaceans including crabs and lobsters, have a hard shell or exoskeleton. Like most animals, they also grow bigger as they mature. The exoskeleton doesn't, though. It can't grow. It's solid like a suit of armour. That's where these things come in. I spoke to Dr Elizabeth Smith at the Australian Opal Centre in Lightning Ridge about how these things allow crayfish to grow. Yabby buttons, or gastroliths, bioliths, are found in freshwater crayfish and land crabs and also in some lobsters. Little discs of calcium carbonate and other minerals that are found in the stomach cavity, on the lining of the stomach, just before the yabby sheds its exoskeleton. And they drop into the stomach cavity and they're reabsorbed, acting as a store of minerals for hardening the new exoskeleton when the yabby molts, which is pretty clever stuff. So, at the right point in the yabby's life cycle, it starts harvesting quantities of calcium carbonate, which is essentially lime scale, the same stuff that collects on the heating element in your kettle or hot water heater, and condensing it into little pellets inside its head. They develop just behind the eyes, under the front of the cephalothorax, and you'll actually only find them in your yabbies just before the yabbies molt, or just after they molt. And molting is called ecdysis when they, they break through the old exoskeleton. And when they come out, they're all soft and vulnerable and very squishy. And that's why they need these little, little power hits of minerals to harden the exoskeleton really fast because they're awfully vulnerable just after they shed their, shed their exoskeleton. OK, so the gastrolis develop just behind the eyes and the yabby's stomach. I don't know about you, but I think I need a quick refresher on crayfish anatomy. Crayfish have two main stomachs. The first one is the cardiac stomach, the second one is the pyloric stomach. Because crayfish don't have teeth, they do all of their chewing in the cardiac stomach, where the food gets ground up by bits of grit and stone before it passes into the pyloric stomach, which behaves more like our own stomachs. Gastrolith is an interesting word that has a few different meanings. The primary meaning of gastrolith relates to gizzard stones, which are the rocks that birds and reptiles swallow to help grind up their food. They're called gastroliths. They have been called that in the popular literature and in scientific papers. But in fact, there's there's been an attempt more recently to differentiate them from gastroliths, which are stomach stones. And stomach stones are used by chickens, chooks. Uh, They've been found in in the gizzards, the fossilised guts of, of plesiosaurs and pliosaurs and sauropod dinosaurs, all sorts of things, crocodiles as well, and gastroliths traditionally are stones that have been swallowed to aid digestion and grinding up of bone material, that sort of thing. Yabby gastroliths are probably better termed bioliths because they're created biologically by the yabby as an internal structure. All of the yabby buttons we're looking at here were found in Lightning Ridge in northern New South Wales, Australia. Lightning Ridge is unique in that the fossilising mineral, the stuff that the fossils turn into, is opal, so many of the fossilised plant and animal remains that have been discovered in the area are in fact opalised, occasionally with gem-quality opal. Fossils occur in a lot of different minerals. Uh, Limestone, a mineral called bioapatite, chert and agate, all sorts of different things. One of the important things about the Lightning Ridge fossils is that the fossilising mineral is silica silica dioxide or opal. Basically, Lightning Ridge is the only place on the planet with opalised yabby buttons, and that's one of them. An absolute corker of a thing. There would have been two like this in the yabby, and it was a very big fella, something like a main lobster. There it is, two yabby buttons, and it would have been about that big. So that's, that's, a, big, that's a big yabby. The Australian Opal Centre has been kind enough to allow me access to their amazing collection to film these yabby buttons, and what we've looked at here is merely the tip of the iceberg. And the lovely thing is that the Australian Opal Centre in Lightning Ridge has the world's largest collection of opalised yabby buttons. In fact, probably the largest collection of fossil yabby buttons, which is pretty wonderful because the opalised yabby buttons are an absolutely exclusive Lightning Ridge product. 
There's no opalites, jabby buttons on any of the other opal fields in Australia and they're certainly not found anywhere else in the world. A wonderful collection that belongs to everybody. It's a public collection. This video was created with the support and participation of the Australian Opal Centre in Lightning Ridge, New South Wales, Australia. When you visit Lightning Ridge, and you should visit Lightning Ridge, you should visit the Australian Opal Centre, home to the world's greatest public collection of rare opalised fossils from the age of dinosaurs. Please see the links in the video description to find out how you can visit and support this awesome museum. God, there's orange in there as well. It's got two or three colour bars. And there's a red crystal colour bar on one side here. Incredible object. That's the best Yabby button on the planet.